Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Tony Tesler, Tony Stamps is my channel. Uh, so tonight I'm doing, A, it's Monday, and I'm not usually here on Mondays, but I had the day off, much like a lot of you, and I had some time, so I thought I would make you a video. Uh, so this is for, this is the process video for my Craft Roulette Challenge number 165. Um, so Mary Gunn runs Craft Roulette, and find her on YouTube. She does a live video every Friday night, and she has a guest every week, and they spin wheel for parameters. There's, you know, like 36,000 parameter possibilities. Um, they get four parameters, and they make a card live. And then the rest of the world, we have a couple days or up to a week if you're um, if you're a club supporter, or I forget what it's called, a patron or something. Like I'm one, so I can I have till Thursday night to submit. Everybody else, if you're not a patron or a club fun, you have to get yours in by Sunday night. Um, so I have extra time. So our parameters for this week. The project, it's a card with flaps. Could be any flap. The card itself can be a flap, right? It's how you interpret it. Uh, colors are winter. That is whatever winter colors you think of. Um, I think of like purples and pinks when I'm doing snowflakes. But winters could be blue, blue and white. Um, it could be black and white. Like whatever you feel. Uh, the element is children's story. So I'm going to bring in um, something from uh, a mermaid theme. All right. And then random is tiles, tile or tiles. And I'm going to show you the interesting way that I incorporated that. Uh, I'm also going to show you how a quick coloring way method. So I don't like to always get out my markers and, um, you know, like water coloring paper and all that. So I've got a quick way and it looks just as good. Um, so let's get down to it, okay? All right, you guys. Um, so here we are uh, and my all my materials. So once again, the project, we're going to make a card with flaps. We're going to use winter colors. Uh, as you can see here, I chose my colors. These are my winter colors. I'm using Lost Lagoon and Heather Highland Heather because they match these papers that my friend Sharon sent me. Um, and they kind of go. So those are my winter colors. Like I said, it could be anything you want, really, whatever your idea of winter is. Um, element, children's story. So children's story, mine is going to be The Little Mermaid. I found a mermaid image that I already had embossed in silver. And we're going to, I'm going to show you a quick way to color this, to watercolor it. All right. Um, and then random is tiles. So for what I did for my tile element, and you might not be able to see it right this second, but I took this, um, the designer paper, the pattern paper, and I ran it through with this folder from Tim Holtz, Adorn Tile. So it's we're gonna make this show up a little bit more. Um, so let's start with, let's go to our base pieces and get all this out of the way. So you're gonna need a piece of four and a quarter by 11, and you're gonna score it at two and three quarters and eight and a quarter. Now, if you don't want to do two and three quarters and eight and a quarter, just do two and three quarters, flip your paper, two and three quarters again. All right, so let's, where's my bone folder? Score that. This is going to be the outside of our card. So here we have one set of flaps, all right? So it's going to go like this. Then we have a piece that is five and three eighths by eight and a half. So normally when we cut a piece of eight and a half by 11 in half for a card base, we do five and a half by eight and a half. But this time we want to take a little bit off. All right. So five and three eighths by eight and a half. Then we're going to score at two and one eighth and then six and three eighths. All right. And then these will come kind of in the middle and we're going to burnish those. Now the gist of how this is going together is this is getting glued inside here. So we're gonna have flaps and more flaps. All right, that is a perfect fit actually. Um, and I'm actually gonna do a, oops, excuse me. I'm gonna close this with some magnets um, just because I like to. All right, now these little magnets I will, I'll link it in the description box. I, I know I've got a link somewhere, but Anywho, uh, so let's get to our pattern paper. So for our outside bits, these flaps, we want two pieces. 
Now these can be the same or different, whatever you want. I'm gonna have them the same here and then the same there. So for our outside parts, we want two and a half by four, all right? Now, I did say I was gonna show you how we can make this embossing show up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Lost Lagoon ink spot. Now this is a firm, like a linen pad, so it's not very squishy. I wanna lightly go over the top of this and it should just pick up, you know, kind of where the embossing is to show you the design. And this will lighten up, don't worry about it. I know it looks like trash right now, um, but it'll lighten up. So it's picking up the raised bits and there's really a lot of pattern in here. So don't worry, it will lighten up, I swear. All right, and I'm just going lightly over top. And I could have picked a lighter ink, um, but I decided I would go with Lost Lagoon since that's the, the card base. All right, now I'm gonna just go ahead and glue these in, even though they're not dry. There you can really see the pattern more so on the back side of that adorned tile folder. I keep wanting to call it tin tile because that's really kind of what it is. All right, let's put this in. And I'm just gluing that down. Now I'm not gonna glue this one down yet because I wanna do a magnet and I wanna bury it underneath this paper. But just know it's gonna go there. Um, now let's glue our other bits. So we've got our sand dollars or whatever these things are. Uh, and I did have this cut where it kind of matched up. Oh, I think that's it. Okay. These don't have to match, but I wanted the two on the inside to be the same and the two on the outside. You could have them all the same or all different. Oops. All right. I felt like that didn't land exactly right, but it's not the end of the world. All right, and then I'm just gonna put this on this flap. And nice. Um, now I did forget the part for the inside, the white, but that would just be like four by five and an eighth, because remember we did this five and three eighths instead of five and a half. Normally I would do four by five and a quarter for the inside. Um, I may cut that at the end because I was gonna stamp something. But for now, let's glue this to the inside of our other flaps. So I've got winter colors, Lost Lagoon, Highland Heather. I've got flaps and flaps, lots of flaps. I've got my tile and my children's story. So going with the, you know, My Little Mermaid, or Little Mermaid, whatever it is. That wasn't out, I don't think, when I was a child. <laughs> I know they've put out another one recently. Um, all right, so we've got this. This is going to be a magnet, and I kind of, so when I place my magnet, I'm going to have this layer over top as well, and this is what's going to get the magnet too, so I kind of want it like here, all right? And I'm going to put my finger right there. So let me do, let me just put a dot of glue first. I'm going to peel one of these off. And put that down. I just didn't want it so close to like the edge of my paper. Um, and I do like to secure this down with a little bit of tear and tape or sticky strip or score tape, whatever you have, strong tape. And if I could peel it up, that would be awesome. Ugh. All right, jeez. All right, now let's glue this in. I'm trying to see, yep, make sure my leaves are going the right way. All right, and then we're gonna glue this down. And I need to wipe this. So when you do ink on like a metallic bit, like shiny, the ink doesn't want to stay on that shiny part. So you just got to rub it so you get that extra off. 
Otherwise, it'll come up on your hands. All right, so we've got our magnet here. Then let's go ahead and I'm just going to put this. I want this centered. And this is just a scallop circle that I cut from my layering circles dies. And then a smaller circle that I embossed with a new dots folder. All right, so centering. And I want to put glue like halfway. And making sure I kind of got that. All right, now for our magnet, we just let it, look, it sticks where it wants to go. So I can put glue there, let it go, and then add a little smidge more of tape. And then I'm gonna just glue this dot embossed circle right on top of there. I like a magnet closure just because then there's no, it's no waffling, like trying to score it and score it and score it to make it lay down. All right, now this barely peeks out the scalloped bit. Let me hold this down for a minute, but that's fine. And then we go to open it. Ta-da. And you could add more white strips in there. Mm, I love that part. Okay, so what did I want to do? Um, I wanted to, I'm going to color this gal real quick and cut her out. And I'll speed through the cutting out part. Um, or I may just skip it entirely. How about that? I'll skip that. Um, and then I've got bits that I want to add. So I've embossed Let's Celebrate. I was using this Stamps of Life stamp. It's called Shells 2 Stamp, the number two. Um, and I'm going to do It's Your Birthday on the inside. But let's celebrate, which I may cut the words out. Not decided yet. And then I just did two little shells. One in the Highland Heather and then the um, Lost Lagoon. So let's color this. Now, I've embossed this on, I think, regular cardstock, not even thick and certainly not watercolor, um, but that's okay. So we want, I've got four colors here, petal pink. Um, and I didn't even think about her hair color. I got to pick something for that. Maybe, uh, let's do a light brown. Ooh, let's use pecan pie. That's a new color. All right. So we'll do pecan pie for her hair, petal pink for her, um, her body, lost lagoon, pool party, and Highland Heather for her fins and everything. Uh, so we need a couple of blocks. All right. Or if you have one of those, uh, the slick surfaces, the non adhesive or, you know, the things that you can just like smash ink on and it'll pull up. I forget what they're called. Like sheets of some kind. Well, I just use blocks. So I just get random size blocks. Like I only need a little bit of certain colors. So let's do that and here. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do her body first. So you need a watercolor, an aqua painter or water brush. All right. And I've already gotten that going. Uh, so let's do petal pink. So I smash this, my block right into my ink pad. And then that makes my palette. All right. So not watercolor paper, not even thick paper. I'm just going to get color, and then really quickly color it in. Now it makes like, it absorbs it really quick because it's not, not watercolor paper. I missed a little bit right there, but that's all I want. And then this, I just wipe off and I will go and run them under the faucet. Um, but let's do the same thing with the pecan, just a little bit. And that's probably too much because there's not much hair there. All right, so we'll just pick up and we're just gonna color in the streaks. And if it gets lighter, that's great in bits because we want some variety, right? All right, good enough. Mm, see how quick this is? Now for these three colors left, I wanna go with the uh, lightest color first. So we're actually gonna go Pool Party, Highland Heather, then Lost Lagoon. 
And I think I'm going to have her fins be pool party. So let's just get that water. All right, that is a lot of ink. So again, we're just going to swirl in and color. All right, now don't forget I'm cutting this out. So the fact that I'm going out of the lines doesn't even matter. All right, now I just want to put blobs of this color all over because I want her, her body to be like all the colors. All right, then we'll come in with Highland Heather. And again, just blob that ink on a block. And this is going to be darker. Ooh, I love it. I'm just trying to kind of place it so it matches or so it's evenly dispersed, really. All right, let's do that. And then Lost Lagoon will be our last color. Now this is a new color, but it's actually a returning in color from Stampin' Up! in mine. So my ink pad is, I don't even know how old. All right, same thing. So I'm just gonna fill in and then this is the darkest bit. So, ooh, I like it. I like it, like it. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut this out real quick and come back and I'm probably gonna hit this with Wink Estella so she's really glittery. Um, and then we'll finish putting her together. So I've uh, colored, cut her out, and I do want to hit her with the clear Wink of Stella. And I'm gonna do her hair and then her body, or her fins, rather. Now some of this is hard to tell, like I can't see the shimmer on all this part in the middle because of all that embossing but I can really load up the fin. And actually, you know what? Let's just do all of it, the whole thing. All right, there's nothing wrong with a lot of shimmer. All right, so I want her to be kind of like right here. Mm, perfect fit. And I want these leaves, and I know they're oversized, but that's okay. I want them like coming out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's celebrate. I think I'm going to cut this apart. So I'm going to have the let's and celebrate separate. That gives me more options because then I can put this like, oop, like right here and then have the let's right in front of it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pop the words and the girl up, the mermaid, and then we're going to glue the shells down flat. So let's do this. That one was about there. Ooh, I'm going to have to wipe that off. That wasn't supposed to flip around and land on my hand like that. Jeez. All right, let's get that. At least this glue doesn't like stick. This barely art glue, it doesn't stick all over your hands forever. All right, let's hold this down for just a sec. Okay, cool. All right, let's put her on first and I'm trying to think, we'll use regular. Now I just wanna make sure if there's any part of her that is going to hang over. So nope, I can put the whole thing, I can put dimensionals wherever I want. And don't be shy with popping your, your bits up. We don't want any saggy bits. All right, and then one more right there. So we'll pop her up, we'll add our greeting, and then we'll add some gems. Because if we didn't have enough sparkle and shimmer already and shine, oh, we can add more. 
All right, let's put her like right there. All right, and then our words. Oof, I love it. And I'm gonna put that right there. Actually, I gotta hold it up a little bit. Now, the fact that um, my embossing wasn't that great and I got some white extra bits there, I'm just gonna have to get over that. Nobody's perfect. All right. And then we'll put that there. Ooh, yeah, I love it. And then we'll go in with some gems. So these gems are not the same color. These are like last year's end colors. These are technically Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Fresh Freesia. But they are going to go pretty well with this. And I want to use some purple ones too. So mm, let's do a purple one here. And even though these are adhesive, I do like to add just a little drop of glue. So I'm going to do that and then a little one there. And then add some one, two, one, two, three, four, and then five. We'll do a big one. So we'll do some green ones on the outside. Oh yeah, so that is a little bit darker. You know what, let's do the soft succulent ones. And that glue is still there. Cause I want them to sparkle and shimmer, but I don't want them to be overwhelming. All right, let's do a little one and another big one. Now, another um, good gem would be iridescent rhinestones or, you know, something that's just sparkly but clear because then the, all the colors will show through from the bottom. So, I think that does it. Let me get this garbage out of the way. So, let's just go over real quick again. So, we have card with flaps. Flap, flap 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 okay done check colors winter my winter colors are blue and purple element children's story mermaid little mermaid and then random tiles and that would be the tile embossing folder that i used on the um that pattern paper so uh i hope you like it and thanks for watching i'll catch you next time